going on guys? It's your boy Casey Spartan here and as always before I get started off with the video I just want to say thank you guys for all the support that you guys have been offering on the channel. It's been a couple of days since I've uploaded. I decided to start taking the weekends off uh, just to kind of recuperate, you know, come back into the channel with a fresh mindset and uh, plus you guys know about my terrible sleep schedule so I've been trying to get that on check too but you guys have been around for the content so the content's always going to be here but regardless of that uh, the series uh, between us and Philadelphia are, let me just go on and say this, welcome to the Baby KD series. If you're new, uh, definitely, definitely, definitely go check out all the other episodes. Uh, this will be episode 20. Uh, so definitely, definitely check out the series, man. It's been an interesting series. We're in the playoffs now. Uh, just a quick recap, Brooklyn uh, beat Toronto in seven games. Surprised it took them seven games, but... They beat them. Uh, Boston beat Miami five games. Uh, kind of, you know, kind of expected that one a little bit. Maybe should have went six, but whatever. Uh, we ended up, or sorry, uh, Philadelphia ended up sweeping Milwaukee, which is kind of uh, surprising. And uh, we ended up dispatching uh, the Orlando Magic in five games. Then out on the eastern or the western side, you got L.A. They beat Golden State five games. Uh, Portland went six games with Memphis. Then New Orleans uh, lost in seven to Minnesota. And then uh, the Clippers beat Denver in six games. So now we're in the Eastern Conference Finals, uh, obviously. And uh, we're going to go ahead and, you know, hop right into this. And uh, hopefully, um, you know, get us a dub today. All right, so... Let me see what colorway or what jerseys we're rocking. We're rocking our home jerseys. Uh, I told you guys in um, at least before the series started that I was going to be wearing Kobe's all throughout the playoffs, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna be sticking to that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we're gonna be rocking our Kobe's. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we're going to be representing the Mamba, you know what I'm saying? That's how we do it around here. Uh, we're going to be rocking some Kobe 5s today. Uh, obviously, uh, the Kobe 5 is like one of the greatest Kobe uh, silhouettes of all time, and uh, it needs no introduction. So we're going to go on ahead. We're going to hop right into this game against Philadelphia. I'm going to try and pre-record this game. Uh, hopefully it works out. If it doesn't, you know... Uh, it is what it is. I'll just have to come back and live stream it. For some reason, uh, a lot of times the connection just drops. Like, I could be playing and then all of a sudden the Wi-Fi gets disconnected. I could be booted from the servers. I don't know what's been going on. Gaming has just become like this. I don't know. I don't know. Gaming is, gaming is crazy now. But, um, yeah, so... But yeah, man, gaming gaming has become this uh, stalemate. Uh, hopefully we're going to get over it. But we are back at the Capital One Arena. This is game five. Uh, we do have home court advantage. Uh, the only team we won't have home court advantage against is Brooklyn if, you know, they decide to... Uh, Beat whatever team it is they're facing. I don't really care who they're facing, but we're facing Philadelphia, so it's all that matters to me. All right. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the colorway as always. Uh, like I said, rocking the uh, the Kobe fives here. Like I said, one of the most iconic colorways of all or silhouettes of all time. Uh, just a home traditional colorway here. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, let's go ahead and hop right into it, man. Uh, but as far as the season goes this year, we have, dude, we have a lot of options. You know what I'm saying? As far as like what we can do. Gonna hit Bradley Beal to our left. And he's gonna drop the bucket. Let's go. So the series is tied, two to two. Hoping to go up three to two, and you know, uh, go out on the road and and. And close it out. Oh my god. Ben Simmons, man. Really, really good defender. I, I didn't expect nothing less there. Gonna come off off the screen. 
and for some reason the shot meter is on I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off because you shoot better uh, with it off so uh, where is that control sit there we go all to a six nothing start love to see it thought I had the steal there but <clears throat> not gonna quite get it from Tobias Harris unfortunately but whatever but uh, like I was saying though we, we have a lot of options coming into this season uh, you know we can either you know re-sign with uh, the Washington Wizards and you know uh, create a dynasty here go for you know championships after championships kind of like Golden State did with uh, Kevin Durant Klay Thompson, Steph Curry, Draymond, obviously. Uh, I mean, not to that magnitude, maybe. But we'll we'll see what happens. Uh, depending on what Bradley Beal does this free agency, you know, we'll we'll plan accordingly from there. Uh, definitely, if we can afford a big name uh, two guard, Get that out of there, dude. That was like double barrel action right there. I don't know who got the block. But that's just that's just how we play defense around here. You know, in DC, you know what I'm saying? Gimme that. You wanna dribble lazily? Hey! Let's go. Wanna dribble lazily on my court? At my home arena. Can't be doing that. Can't be doing that, Ben Simmons. Oh, I had to get out there on the closeout. Oh, got the feet. Oh, my God. Green Bean, let's go. And it was slightly late, but he done he done an animation. So, I, I, thought, I thought it was just a green... Like a complete straight up green, but don't you dare pass that ball over here. They're matching us, man. They're matching us. But like I was saying though, uh we could definitely choose to stay here in Washington. Like I like I said uh in a previous video. Uh I love playing in Washington. Like uh I love the fans here. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I love the uniforms. The uniforms are dope. I love my teammates, especially my boy Bradley Bill. He was the main reason I came here to uh, D.C. to play. Could have went to Phoenix to team up with Devin Booker and Chris Paul. Didn't want to do that. Could have teamed up with Ja Morant and Jaron Jackson Jr. to create a huge team there. Give me that. Let's go. I mean, I, I could have went to Golden State and, you know, really have become the, you know, second coming of KD there. But uh, I, I just wanted a franchise with a, you know, uh kind of disgruntled past hey baby KD throwing it down with the contact dunk let's go let's go All right, going to see what they're running here. Looks like they're going to do some low post offense with Joel Embiid. Not going to happen. Get Dash out of there. Get it out. Don't you dare come in my paint, Danny Green. You better stay outside on the three-point line. I know what you thought this was. This is not Burger King. You cannot have it your way. Oh, we closed out. That was a beautiful closeout. Going to get the easy bucket. We're looking to, you know, get out, run out and transition, you know what I'm saying? So that's 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 what we're doing right now, man. All right, going to see what they're running here. They're still going low post with Embiid. I mean, uh, that's kind of what they do in Philadelphia uh, 
low key, and, and it, it works. I mean, Joel Embiid is a, a terrific center. Honestly, he's my favorite center in the league, hands down. Like, if you ask me, you know, otherwise, ah, uh, that was that was kind of a stupid bump. Still, I don't even think that should have happened. It's gonna be our ball. But like I was saying though, Joel Embiid is definitely my favorite center in the league. Like. I just love his story, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's been, you know, injured, you know, here and there. But, I mean, you know, when you're, you're you know, seven foot and, you know, you got all that weight to you and you play in the post with other bigs, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're prone, you're, you're prone to get injured, you know what I'm saying? And... Just the way he plays. He plays so aggressive and, you know, uh, you know, I, I feel like with the emergence of the three-point shot, like, definitely Joel Embiid has, you know, transitioned his game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he can still bang with you in the post if he wants to, but he is definitely, and, and when I say this, I, I mean it with all intents and purposes, that he is... He is the smoothest, <clears throat> excuse me, he is the smoothest center I've ever seen operate at the top of the key. Like, I mean, other than, uh, you know, Carl Anthony Towns and, uh, you know, Anthony Davis. Well, Anthony Davis is a power forward, but, I mean, he, he's played some center. Other than those guys that I named, like, no one else is just as smooth with the ball. You know what I'm saying? Like, the dribble moves. I mean, like, the man is literally doing Euros, and he's 7 foot, and he weighs, like, 250, 260. So, he's, I mean, he, he's a big guy. Um, and for him to be doing Euros and everything like that, he is he's definitely one of the more dynamic big men in the league. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but... That's just that's just my thoughts. I don't know why I jumped like a complete idiot, but I'm sorry, Stephen Adams. That foul should not have been on you. That should have been on me. Me and Tobias Harris roughly averaging about the same amount of points a game, I think. I believe I'm averaging like 23 or 24. All right, we're going to see if we can come up here and get the ball. Bradley Bill's waving us off. Oh, that's a green beam, baby. Let's go. We got 25 of our 31 points. Uh, we definitely need to start facilitating. You know what I'm saying? Definitely got to start facilitating more. Because... Oh, that's a bucket. That's a bucket. Y'all gonna leave my boy Bertans out there open? I better stop playing with that boy Davis Bertans like he can't shoot the three ball. But uh, as far as, like, I mean, I can name my favorite position, like, my favorite player at every position. Uh, but like I was saying, though, uh, whoa, what a pass. What a what a defensive effort by uh, Bradley there to get back into play. Oh yeah, that's a bucket. But uh, definitely Joel Embiid at the five spot. He he's definitely my favorite five in the league. Uh, probably my next runner up will be Jokic. I I just love the way Jokic plays. You know what I'm saying? As far as who I think is the MVP between him and uh, you know Embiid, I feel like Jokic has a better case. Uh, he's missed less games this season. I don't even think he's missed games this season. Uh, whereas Joel Embiid, he's been out with some injuries here and there. So, uh, I mean, injuries don't always play a part. They they can, but I, I sometimes I feel like they shouldn't always play a part because, you know, that's an unexpected part of the game. Injuries, you know what I'm saying? They happen, you know what I'm saying? And, uh... You can't, 
you can't predict when somebody's going to get hurt. You know what I'm saying? You can't sit there and be like, oh, that was a stupid pass. But you can always count on your production. You know, uh, production is a certain part of the game. You know, you either produce or you don't. It's a very good defense by us. We're going to get out on transition. We got Lonzo to our right. He's going to get the easy mid-range jump shot. He's not going to make it, though. Guarding my boy Ben Simmons. But like I was saying, though, uh, injuries are an uncertain part of the game. You know, they happen when they happen. But production is there. Like, it, like I said, either you produce or you don't. And both of those bigs, they're producing at a at a crazy rate for their teams. But I just feel like uh, Jokic is more valuable to his team than Joel Embiid is to his. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can make the argument that, oh, you know, Ben Simmons kind of slows him down and he's got to produce more. No, I, I, don't, I don't think so. You know, up until Jamal Murray's injury, you know, uh, Jokic had a second star to help him with the scoring load and, you know, kind of give him a break on certain nights. But now that, you know, Jamal Murray is out, there's really no second, you know, second distinguished star other than Jokic on that team. You know what I'm saying? Whereas the 76ers... They have Joel Embiid. They have uh, Ben Simmons. They have, you know, Tobias Harris, who is an all-star. You know? So, or should have been an all-star. I believe I believe he was an all-star. Was he an all-star? I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember if he was an all-star this year. I believe he was, though. He might, he might have been an all-star player. But he might not have been an all NBA player. I don't know. I don't know how it was, but Okay, thank you. Just leave the paint open to me. It's fine. But uh but yeah, so other than that, you know, to see those bigs produce at a at a crazy rate, it's uh you know Definitely, definitely something interesting to see. But y'all already know what's about to go down. We're about to uh, put our, you know, put us some fresh guys in here. Uh, we're definitely going to put Matisse Thibault in at the two, offer us some defense. Uh, put Avdia in there. We're going to put Mitchell Robinson in there at the five. And then we're going to put uh, Alex Lynn in there at the four. I don't know. I don't know why why we don't have a lot of power forwards on our roster, but that that's just the way it is. I don't understand it, but... We're going to go ahead and simulate a lot of this game, actually, um, because I feel like we're going to run away with it. All right, so we're going to jump right back in. We're going to put our guys back in there. we got Bradley Beal, uh, Ishebit, three. Uh, JaVale can actually play. He can actually play the four. I'm not, I'm not opposed with that. And then uh, we're gonna put we're gonna bring Quinn Cook back in here, and uh, he's gonna play the point guard. But uh, to, you know, like I was saying, like I was saying, but to me, I feel like Jokic is the front runner for MVP. But as far as who my favorite center is in the league, it's definitely Joel Embiid. I, I just love the way he plays. He's he's a fun guy. No, no pun intended to one Kawhi Leonard, but, but yeah, uh, definitely, definitely a team first guy. So, love to see it. As far as who my favorite power forward is in the league, um, I mean there, you know, there are a lot of good power forwards out there. You know what I'm saying? A lot of good uh, guys that play at the four spot, but. Uh, definitely Anthony Davis. I just love Anthony Davis. I love the way he plays. Uh, he kind of struggled the other night against uh, Portland. I mean, well, actually, he played really good against Portland. Um, 
he lead. I think he leads the league with uh, 30 point, 10 rebound games this season, which is actually really cool. But uh, Damian Lillard just came to play, and uh, you know now the Lakers have been put in a, a you know kind of a conundrum as far as them in the playoffs. So they'll be in the play-in tournament at this rate. You know, a as of me recording this video, uh, they're in that seventh spot, I think. So, you know, that's uh, going to be an interesting dynamic for him, you know. Uh, LeBron is out. You know, Dennis Schroeder's out. He was having a really good season for him. But other than that, I mean, Anthony Davis, I, I just love watching him play. Uh, he is definitely going to be a... a, a a good talent for some amount of time uh probably my runner up would be probably jason tatum i love jason tatum you know what i'm saying i, I was talking to some guys at work about jason tatum as we get the m1 there jason tatum is a bucket like no ifs ands or buts about it uh i kind of feel like him and Jalen Brown should be, either one of them should be traded because they they just kind of don't work out together. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, yeah, they're a deadly scoring duo, but as far as them, you know, winning a championship or, you know, winning a, a playoff series and, you know, advancing or whatever, uh, I, just, I just don't see them, you know, raising up a trophy in the East anytime soon. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, ah, uh, tried to get back, but couldn't get there in time. And we're, and we're first in the league in turnovers, so we definitely got to cut down on those. Too easy. Too easy. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get those, I'm gonna get those two points back. But like I was saying, though, I, I, I think definitely my favorite power forward in the league is, is definitely Anthony Davis. Um... Wow, baby KD just missed a free throw. Get that out of there. What you thought this was? Baby KD pulling up from three. But yeah, I know a lot of I know a lot of you guys are probably like, oh my god, where's Giannis? Where's Giannis? I'm not specifically saying you know, the best power forward, probably the best power forward in the league is probably, you know, Giannis. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh, that's a bucket. Bradley Bill ain't gonna miss too many of those. But like I was saying, though, uh, definitely, you know, I, I love the way Anthony Davis plays. Now, as far as my favorite small forward, y'all should know this. Kevin Durant. I mean, Kevin Durant... Listen, regardless of what you want to say about Kevin Durant, you know, going to, you know, Golden State and winning those two titles and, you know, uh, leaving Oklahoma City to go to a team that beat him and, you know, whatever. At the end of the day, it's a business, right? The executives have to put a team around guys to win. You know what I'm saying? They have to put talent around guys to win in this league you're not just gonna win with one uh star you know what i'm saying uh when you look at the greatest teams in nba history you know look at their rosters look at the way they're constructed right you know you got i mean back in the 50s and the 60s i mean bill russell you know you had bill russell you had um Havlicek, you had all those guys that he played, you know, with uh, on those championship teams. You had Casey Jones and, you know, Hall of Fame caliber players, right? Uh, then you go to the 70s. I mean, Kareem was, you know, uh, dominating it with the Bucks there. I mean, he didn't win as many as he did with the Lakers, but uh, definitely I think the Celtics might have been dominating the 70s, I think. Uh, then you go to the 80s. I mean, look at, you know, I mean, Magic Johnson, James Worthy, you know, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you know, um, 
you know, players like that, right? Uh, and the Celtics. The Celtics were another dynamic kind of dynasty there back in the 80s as well with Larry Bird and um, Dennis Johnson, Kevin McHale, you know, Robert Parrish, a lot of those guys. And then the 90s, obviously. Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls. Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, um, you know, Dennis Rodman, another uh, elite talent on that team. Yeah, he didn't score. I don't know why I pulled up. That was kind of stupid. But, you know, then you go to the 2000s, right? Shaq and Kobe. Uh, you know, you have Big Shot Bob, Rob Horry. Seven-time NBA champ, or eight-time, seven, eight-time NBA champion. I mean, doesn't get any better than that. Then the 2010s, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Golden State. You can put Golden State, Miami in there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of teams have to be constructed with multiple stars in order to win. Because you can't, you can't do it by yourself. You know? So... Ah, uh, that was my fault there. I kind of thought he had enough room on the pass to get it, but whatever. Oh, dude, if he would have made that, I would have been so disappointed. But like I was saying, though, I mean, um, you know, definitely Kevin Durant going to Golden State was probably the best move he could have made. Yeah, at the end of the day, he's going to be hated for it. But, you know, like I was saying, he's a grown man. He does what he wants. Uh, if it was me, I would have signed with Golden State. Shit. Like, you know, put me around guys I know I can win with. No disrespect with Russell Westbrook and, you know, a lot of the other guys on that team. But Kevin Durant was just not, ha like, he was just not doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, him and Westbrook, they, you know, they couldn't really get to where they want it to get to as far as like you know winning a championship I mean they fell short in 2012 when they met the Miami Heat there uh, but you know that that's just the way the cookie crumbles you know what I'm saying uh, so we're gonna go ahead commit the intentional foul we're gonna get our guys out of here uh, but like I was saying though I mean that's that's just the way it is so, got to have multiple uh, guys to win championships. And, uh, you know, Kevin Durant done the best thing he could have done for his career to uh, go to Golden State and win those two rings. And then now he's one of the best scorers in the league and um, one, of, one of the greatest scorers, if not the greatest scorer of all time. In my opinion, in my humble opinion, Kevin Durant is probably one of the greatest scorers to ever grace this generation. So, I mean, that that's just me. But, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But, um, yeah, Kevin Durant's probably my favorite uh, small forward, you know. Uh, LeBron, close second. You know, um, a lot of other guys in that spot. Uh, shooting guard, definitely Devin Booker. I love Devin Booker. Uh, Devin Booker, you know, he had that, you know, tremendous start, 8 no in the bubbles in last year's, uh, you know, playoffs. Wasn't enough to get him in there, which is kind of unfortunate because I would have loved to have seen them there. But now they have the roster. Devin Booker now has a team that can contend in the Western Conference with the best of them. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what Bradley Bill can, or not Bradley Bill, but uh, Devin Booker can do with the Suns now that he has, you know, a premier level point guard in Chris Paul and, you know, uh, DeAndre Ayton is there as well. Cameron Johnson, you know, doing big things. And, uh, you know, Jay Crowder adding a, uh, oh my god, 
Dude, Mitchell Robinson is just sending everything back. He's saying, don't come in my paint, bro. Me and me and Mitchell Robinson, we got this paint locked down. Nobody's coming in here thinking they're going to, you know, take whatever they want to take. Get it out. Hey! Let's go. Stop playing with baby KD, man. We gone. Got Bradley Bill to our left. Gonna hit him. Bradley Bill drops a bucket. Ah. Couldn't quite get it to go there. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, that's a bucket. Should have been a bucket at least. I, I hate that stupid little animation that he does right there. Yep, give me that rebound. We're gonna push it. We're gonna push it. Got Lonzo to our right. Hey, that was a nice one. But like I was saying, I'm I'm, I'm really ready to see what Devin Booker can do uh, in in the playoffs this year. You know what I'm saying? Um, other players, Bradley Bill, definitely Zach Levine. You know, a, a lot of those guys are just you know really good talents in their respective conferences, and uh, you know really really love to see those guys play. Baby KD is just screening. All-time record for points in a playoff game, baby. Baby KD is just breaking records every single game. You love to see it. You love to see it. But um, but yeah, Devin Booker is is definitely a player that I love watching. And then my favorite point guard, man, that boy Chef Curry, woo! That man, boy, that man is hot like a red hot chili pepper. Boy, let me tell you, Curry is one of those. His game never gets old. Like the fact that he's doing all this in his mid thirties and or early thirties, I should say. I'm sorry, not to not to put age on my point guard or anything like that, but. But uh, for him to be doing this in his early 30s, it's 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 definitely beautiful to see. You you love watching uh, Curry play. Um, but yeah, he's definitely my favorite point guard in the league. Uh, definitely Dame Dollar, close second. Love Damian Lillard watching him play, and uh, he he just he he's very dynamic. Uh, he's very dynamic, and the way he scores. Uh, definitely Westbrook is another point guard that I love watching. I love watching Westbrook play. He plays with his heart on his sleeve. He plays at 190,000 miles an hour. Uh, and, you know, that's just, hey, that's just the way he plays. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If y'all did, y'all drop a like, y'all subscribe. Uh, we come in here, and uh, we beat Philadelphia by, what was that, 36 points. Uh, definitely came in here to play tonight. Uh, game 5 is ours. Uh, we're going back to Philadelphia for Game 6, so we'll see what happens there. As far as the box score goes, uh, 66 points, 14 rebounds, 12 assists. Uh, you know, playoff triple-double, love to see it. Had four steals, six blocks. We almost had a five by five if we would have recorded one more steal. We had seven turnovers though. We can definitely do better with that. Uh, but we 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 played our hearts out, man. Love to see it. Bradley Bill, 33 points tonight, five rebounds, four assists. Love to see it. Love to see it from Bradley Bill and uh, Davis Davis Bertans actually came in with 13 points. Love to see it. Uh, we had five, four players in double figures. And, uh, you know, we, we, we came to play tonight. Love to see it. But regardless of that, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If y'all did, y'all drop a like. Y'all subscribe. 
turn on your post notifications so that way you don't miss a video when I upload. And in the next game, um, rather we go to a game six or a game seven, we'll, we'll definitely, or, I mean, there will be a game six. But, you know, hopefully no game seven. Hopefully no game. Matter of fact, we'll simulate the game right now, and uh, that will kind of put us on course for the next game that we play. So, we'll we'll see what happens here. If we go to a game seven, hey, I'm I'm all for game seven. You know what I'm saying? And it looks like we're going to a game seven. So, we will see you guys in game seven. Uh, kind of confused on what happened. I guess in in game six, Joel and beat. I mean, look at this. They had five players in double figures. They had three players score twenty or more. And I mean, Bradley Beal. I mean, look, Baby KD struggled. He almost had a double double though. Those are Draymond Green numbers right there. Nine, seven, and ten. That's something Draymond will put up. But yeah, uh, we'll see you guys in Game Seven when we go to uh, Washington to. Uh, Finish off this series and, you know, eventually move on to take on whoever wins this series right here. So, uh, y'all go check out the feature channel section. A lot of good stuff there. Uh, go check out the links in the description box below. A lot of good stuff there as well. And uh, until then, you guys, y'all stay motivated, stay dedicated. Always have that mamba mentality. And I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace out. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.